Welcome back guys to a new Boom Beach video. This is day two of Worship Season 61. So today we've got 55 keys, so we're gonna go ahead and unlock Brick. But this is our tech tree so far. We typically start by upgrading the machine guns and the defenses up to the maximum number of defenses. So that's why I haven't upgraded them to the last level just yet. I think the upgrade tokens might, might be spent better elsewhere but for now if we go ahead we can unlock one of these but that's a defensive unlock what i want is an offensive unlock to be able to uh, clear the opponent's base so i'm going to grab brick there and we're going to upgrade her a tiny bit there so that we can at least do her iron wheel and battle orders there they're going to upgrade once more and that's going to be the maximum for iron wheel whereas battle orders can go up to level six but we'll hold off on that for uh, right now so since we're going to be facing a lot of heavies we need we need some splash damage so let's max out our splash damage right there that's going to be good and we're not really using flares right now to flare to the last engine room just yet uh, shock bombs will be super nice so i might uh, aim for that next before i keep moving forward to grab the one of these prototype weapons there so let's go ahead right now let's do our attacks we have bricks, so we should be able to have no issues in terms of clearing the bases. So people do have hot pots, they've got doom cannons, so yeah, we really gotta use bricks iron wheel right there. That's gonna be super helpful here. So let's just do one over there and one over there, and let's send most of them over here. One there, and we'll just drop these two guys right in the center here, hoping that they keep moving forward up there. He's got a Doom Cannon there, but I'm not really scared of any of his other defenses. His Shock Mines are relatively spread out there. Most of the Heavies are going up to the, towards that Cannon there. Let's do our first Battle Orders here. Doom Cannon is now starting to target them this way. And that's just going to help our Zookas especially as well uh, as they go over these Mines and such. Okay, this is looking good, looking good. Let's keep going here. Another battle is right there. And we're right there at the very right end. If we can take down some of these machine, these last two machine guns, we can uh, flare. Get ready. And do that flare there. Even though they would have went right onto that end room anyway. Grab it right there. Can we flare? And that was a perfect flare right there. Might as well drop down uh, Iron Will right there. And let's go. 2 minutes 57. Lovely time. He's still on 2 there. 2.57 is the time to beat, 2.45, lovely stuff there. He's also using, no, he's using all heavies. I thought I saw Grenadiers in the mix there, but apparently not, so that's fine. And yeah, so that's going to be pretty good. I think we will definitely get shocks that will allow us to shock the defenses and flare to the last end room a little bit earlier, and that's all that counts there, trying to get to the last end room as quickly as possible. Over there is Captain Everspark, but I don't think we're going to get her. Warriors might be a nice unlock there. I, I need to see some gameplay of that, but uh, from other Boom Beach YouTubers on how good they are. But they're hidden warriors too. So it seems like if you look at the description over here, they're hidden from the enemies until they um, attack there. So that could be interesting. I mean, you'll still have to watch out for uh, boom mines and regular mines and such. But uh, I'll, I'll hold off on that. You know, I'm just going with the tried and tested there heavies and zuka's attack strategy here so let's hop over here and i'd say let's drop these two over here and let's flare them down over here and now the flare doesn't last too long so that's good good for right now the deck isn't too big anyway so these guys i think we're going to drop one more though let's let them go down this way over here and we'll drop the last couple of guys right over there okay guys sorry about that so we have one there so that's nice to see there and let's just take a look at the replay over here. This is the, this is my replay. So let's take a look at how we attacked it. So there's Brick there. Brick didn't really come in useful there unless the troops are like all together and hitting a load of boom mines there. But she did protect those handful of Zookas there in the center from those regular mines. So that's nice to see. Let's see over here, we're going to go back up into rank 12 there. We've already collected the rank chest, but let's keep going over here. Let's actually collect that chest there. I did not notice that. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to grab it. 
but let's go over here. Okay, so here we've got a blaster here, so we, we gotta be careful here. So, let, so let's drop one, two over here in the center with brick. We'll drop one squad over there, and we'll drop one squad on the left hand side, see if they can go down there. So let's activate brick's iron will straight away there, protect against that blaster damage. And I think we should be good to go. So we'll just delay drop these guys a tiny bit there. Let's activate it right there. Particularly when we see those mortar shells dropping on us. Uh, almost targeting our Zookas there. So that, that's good. So let's now activate it once we get into the flame tour damage there. Protect our heavies and Zookas. These guys are fine down there. Those guys up there are fine. Now that that flame tour is gone. Let's activate another time, can we? No, we can't. So Zuka's a little bit low on health there, but I think we can still power through with Iron Will. Let's activate it right there. They're going to hit that boom mine. And let's let's go. So I won't flare right now. There's still a couple of mines around the place. So let's flare right now. How many Zuka's are going to lose? Not too much. Can we please make it? 2 minutes 50 seconds. Mm, yeah, we got it. We got 2 minutes 50 seconds. Okay, lovely stuff there. Let's take a look at the opponent's time. And he got 2 minutes 49. Lovely stuff there. So that's nice to see. He did not have a hero though. So I think that was his uh, disadvantage. But I'm not sure what his stats are. So we do have 50% troop health. 50% troop damage. But he does not have any stats. As we can see from the right hand side there. So let's go back now. Let's grab our chest. And there we are. So back up to rank 12 for now. And once these tags clear away, we can grab the chest here. So there it is. And let's see. So I did say, yeah, I think the shocks would be the best. Uh, hot pot or la I think the laser beam might be the defense of choice over here. So that you can uh, hit through the, through the heavies and attack the Zookas there. And especially when the bomb deers come out later on in the season. That might be a good choice, but for right now, I think a lot of people are are simply going with the hot pot there. So let's upgrade that there. And I think that's a solid um, offensive strategy there now. Now that we have Brick, her Iron Will, and now we have Shocks as well. So we could even do um, all Heavy Rush, but there are still a, lot of, lo a load of Shock Mines around the place. So I won't risk it by doing all Heavy Rush and potentially uh, fizzling out. So let's just drop two there. Brick in the center, of course. Let's drop that squad right there. And let's drop this squad uh, down here once the blaster and flame chore goes down. So I hope your warship stay too is going nice, guys. Some of you guys might already be in gold rank. If you are, congratulations. Uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to get up there as soon as possible, of course, to grab those extra keys and extra um, to upgrade tokens. So I, I particularly like Iron Will here so to save the Zookas once we go over these mines and such. Um, I would never consider using bringing in a boat of uh, medics because I think that's a waste of a boat to be honest because they don't really uh, heal too much against flame tour damage. You know they ca they can't out heal a flame tour damage. That's for sure. I think. So let's do another one there and let's flare. We sure flared earlier there. He's he's on two there. He's on one now. We got all of our Zookas are pretty much alive there. Two minutes 55 there. And is that going to be enough? I think that will be. I've got a good feeling there, but who knows here. And lovely stuff there. He's got the, he's got the new heavy skin there. So let's zoom in there if we can see their, their faces. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The hairs are white and brown there. So let's zoom out there. Two minutes 43. And nice little attack right there. Uh, are we going to grab any extra wins or a win streak? I don't think so. Oh no, we did. Lovely stuff there. So let's grab this one. Is that enough? Yes. As soon as these go away, the milestones. And can we grab anything here? We can max out the shock bombs, but I don't think we really need that. And what can we do? Flares, not really... What's over here? Okay, so over here, a blaster, doom cannon. So one of these, definitely nice to hop. But I think the hop up might be a little bit better. Uh, we'll, we'll just save this multi-node for uh, tomorrow or some other day. 
But for right now, I think the hot pot or also laser beam might be a good, very good choice, particularly the hot pot because I have went up against, up against the hot pot and it has seriously melted the heavies. Um, th that's when I didn't have brick, of course. So that might be a good choice. You can get two, two laser beams there, apparently. So one over here and one over there. But I might go with the Doom Cannon or Shock. I'm not really sure. Both of these are really good choices. So let me know what, why you guys have chosen down here, guys. Um, you really can't go wrong with either one of these, uh, Blaster or Doom Cannon. But over here, you could go wrong, you know. The Hot Pot or also Laser Beam might be my choice there. Uh, I'm not sure. The Hot Pot would be good for right now, but the Laser, be laser Beam would be good for the long term. So I'll hold off on any, uh, on any unlocks for tomorrow there. And you know what? Let's just, you know, let's just max out our cannons there. Let's just, yeah. And the last thing we have to max out is the mortars there. Stopper towers are down there. I don't think I'm going to spend the 20 keys to unlock them just yet until we need a bit more defense. Right now we need splash damage and single shot defenses. So guys, that's going to be it from me today. Uh, let's take a look at where we are. Small win streak there after all those losses until we got brick, of course, and the uh, uh, shock uh, shock bombs there. So guys, hope you guys are enjoying your warships. Let me know how you guys are getting along, what your next unlocks are. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.